Praises be unto God. Praises be unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you this morning. It's beautiful, beautiful fall morning. Thank God for grace and mercy. Thank the Lord for allowing me to be here to see another day. I pray the blessings of the Lord upon each and every one of you guys. I pray that God will continue to bless you, that he will uh, bless you in your endeavors. I pray that you will be greater next year than you are this year. I just speak blessings upon your families, your children, all of your loved ones. I speak blessings upon you guys. And I pray that the Lord will cover each and every one of you and that he will give you strength. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. It is such a beautiful day out here this morning. And I thank God for, for everything that he's doing in my life, for the good times and the bad times. The Bible said to always give thanks in whatever state you find yourself in. I think Paul said that. Whatever I find my state, my, my state in, myself in, I'm going to keep on pushing. I'm going to keep on being strong and walk this thing out. But how many of you know that God got your back? How many of you know that even if you think he doesn't have your back, but he's, he's got your back and he's pushing you, he's pushing you out of a situation and taking you into a, another situation that is of good. You know, everything that the devil meant for bad, God is turning it around for your good. Know that this morning that it's not what it looked like. And everything that you're going through, it shall pass. It shall pass. You can't stay in one state and continue to stay in that state. But it's going to pass. And it's going to be greater later. So I wanted you all to know that this morning that to keep on trusting God, to keep on depending on him, to keep on uh, knowing that he got you, no matter what you go through, what you're facing, know that God has your back. Amen. He is such an awesome God. He is such a wonderful God. He is a magnificent God. He He sees beyond what we see. He, he hears everything before we hear it or even if we ever hear it he's an all-seeing God he's an all-knowing God he's he's all of these things and that's why we have to learn how to depend and trust him when we're going through something we got to trust God and not the situation we have to trust him and not what we see because we have to walk this thing out by faith because faith is a substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that we do not see. But we know that by faith, if we walk this thing out. See, God don't move by our tears. He don't move because we're over here boohooing or we're over here crying. But God moves by faith. When our faith kicked in, kick in, that is when God began to move. You will see the hands of the Father moving. He got on both sides. You will hear the hands, the, the hands of the Lord moving on your behalf when your faith kicked in. I pray that everyone's faith will begin to grow. That as their faith grow, that they will see God move in their lives. Amen. Glory to God. I just wanted to come on and share that with you all this morning. That don't give up hope, but continue to trust God. Don't lay down. Whatever it is that is, is hindering you, lay it down and trust God. Pick up that cross and follow Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. But y'all have a blessed, beautiful, and wonderful day. I'm almost at my destination. Y'all have a great day. And remember that God loves you and that I love you with the, God, with the love of God. But God loves you with the agape love. That's the love if you done wrong, he still love you. That's the love if you can't get it right, he still love you. He still love you. It's that everlasting love. Amen. Y'all have a great day, okay? Bye now.